What's up, YouTube? We are back. We've been away for a little while. You know, life got busy. Uh, had to do some projects at work, shot a music video, working on a short movie right now. Uh, and then, you know, March Madness started, so a lot of my time got spent with March Madness. Uh, Apex Legends came out, so, you know, I got a little sidetracked. But we're back, and we're here with Career Mode on Casey Powell Lacrosse 2018, following the freshman for Denver University, who's already been lighting it up in his first two games at the school. So here we go for game three against the Stony Brook Sea Lions. And Stony Brook comes out pretty strong on offense, but uh, ultimately they don't get any points there in their first attempt. Uh, and here we go. Here comes Denver. They move it up the Taylor down the field. He's making some moves. He should pass it off to a teammate. He does. Uh, looks like it got poked away, but Colin was able to pick it up. He passes over to Colton, back to Taylor. Taylor making a couple more dodge moves. Makes a swim. Comes to the outside. He scores. What a goal. Holy cow. You know, from up here in the booth, it looked like it. That was behind the back. He just scored a behind the freshman just scored a behind the back goal let's take a look at this again i mean from up here in the booth uh it looked like he should have passed it off a lot sooner but i mean if if you end up scoring a behind the back goal you can't argue with that so here we go here's taylor with the ball again he's making his way around dodgers one defender shoots oh just misses hits the pipe bounces right outside but it's still denver ball they find him open in the crease taylor shoots and scores he finds the back of the net for the second time today uh, great awareness by his teammate finding him open in the crease. Horrible defense by Stony Brook. Uh, when you have a, you know, freshman or not, when you have a, a guy who's shooting as well as he has these past two games so far this season, you can't leave your man that open in the crease one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Uh, so Denver's going to go up 2-0 on Stony Brook. Stony Brook tries to make something happen there, but uh, nothing comes with it. So here comes Denver again. Denver passes over to Colton off the pipe. Wait a second, they're counting the goal. Uh, we're going to have to look at this again. It sounded like it hit the pipe, but uh, if we look at this replay, yep, that actually hit the back of the net and then bounced right back out with the rocket of a shot. So Denver's up 3-0. Uh, things might start getting out of hand here for a second. Denver shoots again with no luck. So here comes Stony Brook. They're trying to find a way to get on the board. Can they do it? And they do. Sea Lions on the board. They get their first goal of the game with only two minutes left in the first. Finally, I was starting to think we uh, might see like a rare shutout, but uh, here we go. Stony Brook on the board. Taylor passes teammate Jerome right off the crossbar. You've got to be kidding me. That's, I think, the second or third shot off the bar, for, off the post for uh, Denver. And here comes Stony Brook moving down the field fast. They're going to slow it down. Good offense, good ball movement up top. Ooh, and uh, great save by the Denver goalie. That's the end of the first quarter. It is four to two Denver, and uh, our freshman's got two goals right now. He's uh, putting on quite a show. And uh, here's Stony Brook. They're slowing things down a little bit, trying to move the ball in and around the crease, and once again off the pipe. Looks like nobody can find the back of the net. Everybody just wants to hit the pipe. I don't think uh, I don't think they realize that you can't get points hitting the pipe. So. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. And here comes Stony Brook again. They're putting some pressure on Denver now. And we just saw that play. Must have been a replay. Our uh, TV studio's got it on a loop or something. So here's Dylan Johnson. Dylan's going to pass it up to Danny. Danny to Nick. And uh, Nick's going to take it past midfield to Taylor. He's going to make a couple moves. He shoots or a pass. I'm not really sure what that was. But his teammate Jeremy gets rocked right there after picking up that, that wide shot. They get it over to Taylor, who finds his man Connor in the middle, but Connor hits it just wide. Can't find the back of the net there. Still going to be Denver ball, though. So here comes Jeremy running around the crease. Passes up to Connor. Connor shoots. Saved by the goalie. What a great save. Good awareness there. So here we go. Denver's got the ball again. It's still 4 2. Here comes Taylor. He makes a couple moves. He's looking for that hat trick, but he shoots it wide. It's still Denver ball. And they're going to pass it up to Taylor again. They're looking for that hat trick early in this first half. They want him to get it. Here he comes. He shoots. And he can't. He misses again. It's off the pipe. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That's got to be the third or fourth time for the Denver team this, uh, this game. And Stony Brook comes down fast. They come down quick off that offensive fast break right off the rebound from Taylor's shot, and it's going to be the deep hole who gets the goal and brings this within one. It wasn't too long ago when Denver was up 3-0, 
And uh, now we find ourselves in a 4-3 game. Denver only up one. Uh, we're midway through the second quarter now. Uh, Taylor's got the ball. He's moving inside. I thought he was going to pass. He shoots. He somehow finds the back of the net with a crazy shot. Once again, uh, from up here, it looks like you know he should have passed it off to a teammate sooner. But how can you argue with it when he ends up scoring on the play? Uh, great low shot right there. We got about a minute left. Denver extends that lead just a little bit more, a little bit more comfort in there. It's 5-3 to three now at that two-point lead. And uh, here comes Stony Brook. They're moving around the crease, and he shoots. Ooh, just a little high, just a little high. But it's still going to be Stony Brook's ball, and uh, they're taking their time. They're using good passing technique, trying to find that, get that offense going, but no luck. And uh, they can't get a goal at the end of the half. So here we go. It is halftime. Denver Pioneers 5, Stony Brook Sea Lions 3, and our man Taylor He's got two goals right now, so he's uh or three goals. I'm sorry, he's got the hat trick. We forgot about that other shot. Oh, and he trusts this guy. He's gonna shoot. Uh, he can't shoot because he steps in the crease. But we have to watch this again. He completely. I think he stepped. Did he step? Don't tell me he stepped over top of him. Yep, my man. He steps right over top of him after burying him in the dirt. Like he's a running back. He's looking like Jerome Bettis the bus out here. <laughs> Too bad he couldn't get a goal, but he gets a goal right here. This is his fourth goal of the game. And Denver is back up by three points. That's a 6-3 lead. And uh, Taylor's like, you know what, guys? I'm just going to put this game in my own hands. I'm going to run people over. I'm going to shoot and score because that's what I do. I know I'm a freshman, but this is what I do. That's what he's telling his teammates right now. Denver goes up 6-3. Three, three and a half minutes left in the third. But... Not so fast, because here come the sea lines, and they shoot no score. We thought they were coming back. So here comes Nick. Nick passes it up to Taylor, who moves inside the box. Makes a couple little moves here. Passes it off to Colton. Colton's going to, he thought he was going to shoot there, but he tries to pass it back out to Taylor. Ends up being a turnover, and we have sea lion ball, and they're actually just going to turn it over themselves, too. So back to sea lion ball up top after a missed shot by Denver. And uh, sea lions are going to turn it over again. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. I feel like I keep repeating the word because uh, Stony Brook doesn't seem to want to hang on to the ball themselves. And that's probably why they're down 6-3 to three right now. But here comes Taylor. Uh-oh. The goalie's scared. It's one-on-one -on -one time. And he should be scared because that's the freshman's fifth goal of the game. Fifth goal for the freshman. You cannot. You have to play better defense than that. I'm sorry. You cannot blame this on the goalie because that is the third time this guy has been open in the crease one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Anybody can score in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalie. I'm not taking anything away from our freshman that we're following right now uh, because he's a great athlete. He's playing an awesome game. He's got five goals. But I will say is this, is it is a mixture of his – skill in the game and the uh, lackluster defense on Stony Brook's side um, that is just allowing these one-on-one -on -one situations to happen that shouldn't be happening. Uh, they got to step it up on the defensive front if they want any type of chance to come back in this game. So we're in the fourth quarter now. That was a pretty uh, action-packed third quarter. It's 7-3 and uh, Taylor McNeil is he's just putting the game in his own hands right now. Uh, he's going to make a couple moves past the Colton who passes it to Jeremy. Jeremy back out to Nick. They're slowing it down, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a turnover for Denver. And uh, But Denver's going to get the ball back after a turnover on Stony Brook. So uh, Colton's moving it up the field quick to the other Colton, who passed over to Austin to Taylor, and that shot's deflected up into the stands. It's uh, still going to be Denver ball, but they turn it over. Stony Brook has it. They're down by four. Can they get a goal to close this gap? Here we go. I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. It's Gary. Gary over to the, that guy also has a crazy name. <laughs> What's up with Stony Brook having all these players a crazy name? There's Jeffrey. I can pronounce that one. And uh, yeah, Jeffrey's going to step in the crease here. That's a turnover. And as the seconds keep counting down on this fourth quarter clock, uh, this game's looking more and more out of reach uh, for Stony Brook. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, they're down 7-3. Just a little over a minute left. Here comes Denver. Will they make it eight? Ooh, off the pipe again. Oh, man, but that's all right. So a scoreless 
the fourth quarter after after an action-packed first and third. Uh, the fourth quarter is going to be pretty boring. Is the score remains the same, seven three, but Denver's going to pick up the win. Their third of the season uh, with a seven three win over Stony Brook. Uh, so there you go, there you have it, folks. Denver seven, Stony Brook three, and of course, uh, player of the game is Taylor McNeilis again. How can it not be? Uh, he didn't have any assists this time, but he had five goals. Um, so yeah, he's got to be the player of the game. That's it for today, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to try and post a little bit more often. I know it's been a month since my last one. Things just got busy with a lot of projects. Uh, but I am, I am going to try and be more consistent. Like I said earlier, uh, hopefully get some, uh, videos once a week, flip back and forth between, um, backbreaker and lacrosse and maybe some, uh, some baseball games in there. So you guys take it easy. Enjoy this video. Peace.